Young lady, what's your attitude? We will talk about attitude as a positive way of handling the problems. A belief that everything is possible and that you're gonna make it happen. Today also I will share with you a story on one of the um, biggest inventors you could think of. So it's a man who had gained 1093 patents. Uh, it's, it's the man who actually gained the biggest number of the patents in the world. What he says about himself, that genius is a 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Yes. So on his journey, he was uh, testing and trying more than 17,000 times to find the one connector that made the bulb to light. Yes, I'm talking here about Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is also famous for his attitude. He invented a lot of different things. He gained a lot of patents all over, but he also built an amazing lab. A lab that when the main building of the lab was the site of the um, three times football pitch. So he has a great and amazing lab. And, and inside this lab, he's been working with the people who were building a prototype, testing and trying. And in 1914, at the age of 67, the fire took off and took completely down his a baby. He spent there and hours and hours. He loved that place, he even slept there. And on the day of the fire, he asked his kids, go and call your mother. She will never see a fire like that before. After this biggest strategy, many people would give up and would pity themselves and put themselves down. But what he said, it's, I am 67 but not too old to make a fresh start. He believed that he has a plenty of ideas, but not much time, so he was moving forward. He also believed that he's gonna live to 100 years old. Let me give you a three hacks or three little things you can do to improve your attitude. First of all, your attitude is a choice. Whatever you want, to feel like you have to be aware, first of all, that it's only your choice. And I can bring you here a sentence of uh, the bus. You know, the, when you're driving on the bus with a beautiful view in the, in the mountains, on one side of the bus, there is a beautiful view. On the other side of the bus is a stone or is a mountain, it's a rock. And you have a choice to decide which side of the bus you sit and what do you see through your own window. Your attitude determines your actions. So whatever is happening, and if it's a positive, it's a positive action. If it's negative, it's a negative action. Managing the right attitude, it's easier than regaining it. It's easier to actually every single day think about what you choose, how you act, and uh, it's more difficult to get it back. Of course, it's possible, and we know that it's also improved. Uh, you never start from uh, zero. You always start from the experience. But it's more difficult to regain than to manage. So when you go completely down, it's more difficult for you to go up. And it takes more time than actually managing that level and not getting completely in the bottom. The number two hack for you guys is to achieve your goal every single day. And I call this as well as your dopamine wins. They are also called micro wins. The wins that keeps you going with your motivation. The third one, what you can implement straight away is to put on your wall. Put on your wall your uh, positive attitude, 
uh, statements, your powerful quotes, uh, pictures, uh, an action board, something that inspires you and motivates. Whatever we feed our brain and our surrounding with, whatever we're going to have it back. So that is a powerful hacks for today for you guys. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know what is your attitude. Are you having a positive attitude or some time to time you have to work on regaining it? Are you managing or regaining it? Have a great day. Hope you like those uh, few hacks on your attitude and wishing you a great and powerful day.